Manipulating and simplifying thirds. Now thirds are essentially an expression with square roots in that don't simplify to a whole number. We've got two main rules here. Uh, this is the, really the main rule. This is a uh, similar sort of rule. Where if we have the square root of a number times the square root of another number, that is just equal to the square root of those two numbers multiplied by each other. That seems fairly obvious, but it's actually quite powerful. So if I start with the square root of 3 times the square root of 12, that's equal to the square root of 3 times 12, which is the square root of 36, which is just 6. So in fact, that's, that doesn't equal a third, but it simplifies to a nice whole number. Um, square root of 4 over 25 is equal to the square root of 4 over the square root of 25, which is just 2 over 5. Okay, now a little bit more sophisticated. There are lots of different examples of these types of questions, um, but uh, we'll just deal with these examples I've got here. The square root of 75, to simplify that, we need to think about, and this is a very common question, what square numbers go into 75? Now, when I'm talking about square numbers, I'm talking about numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. Up to about 100, don't really need more than that usually. But uh, square root 75, if I can find a square number that goes to 75, I can simplify this third. Now, you should know that 25 times 3 is 75. So now I have this expression here, like this one. I can now break it up into the two separate square root, square root 25 times the square root 3. And that gives me the square root 25, which is 5, times the square root 3 is root 3. OK, a slightly more sophisticated version of that is when I've got to add two thirds. It doesn't look like I can do much there, but if I simplify them first, so the square root of 12 is 4 times 3, because 4 is a square number, that helps me to simplify it. Um, then I've got the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2, so that's 2 lots of root 3. So the square root of 12 is 2 lots of root 3. We already worked out the square root of 75 is 5 lots of root 3, so I'm adding those two together. And just as if I was doing 2a plus 5a, which is 7a, then this is going to be the same as 7 root 3. OK, now uh, another thing we need to be able to do is rationalise the denominator. That means to turn the bottom of a fraction into a rational number, so not a square root. To do that, with a simple case like this, we just times by the third that's on the bottom, um, top and bottom. If we times the top and bottom by the same thing, we are just finding an equivalent fraction. It's the same va same value, but just different. So this will give me square root of 12 times square root of 12 is actually just 12, or square root of 144, which is 12. And I've got 6 times the square root of 12 on top. I've got to be careful to make sure I simplify this as far as I can. So uh, we know the square root of 12 from over here is 2 root 3. So that's 6 times 2 root 3 all over 12. And 6 times 2 is 12, root 3 over 12. And the 12s cancel to just leave me root 3. And a really complicated version of this that's uh, occasionally asked to be able to OK, and this is uh, taking third rationalisation to the extreme. A little technique for this one, we've got a 1 plus root 2. I can't just multiply by root 2, because if I multiply the bottom by root 2, I end up with root 2 plus 2, which doesn't help at all. So um, this is one of the uses for difference of two squares. If I times the bottom by 1 minus root 2, whatever this is, if this is a minus, I times by the plus. If this was a plus, I times by the minus, like I've done here do the same to the top, then I end up with 6 lots of 1, which is 6, minus 6 lots of root 2, all over. Now I've got to multiply this thing out. Uh, now the beauty of this thing is that uh, you end up doing root 2 times 1, which is root 2, and 1 times minus root 2, which is minus root 2, so the root 2's cancel and that just leaves us with one lot of one which is one um, time, uh, plus root two times minus root two 
and that's going to be minus 2. So that gives us 6 minus 6, so 6 root 2 all over 1 minus 2 which is minus 1. That's OK but it's not pretty so we just need to get rid of that minus 1 by dividing by minus 1 changes the signs of the things on top to get minus 6 plus 6 root 2. And um, might we really want to write that as 6 root 2 minus 6, but we don't have to. There we go.